All right, hello everybody. Travis Chandler here with episode eight of Vanguard character in Mass Effect. Last episode, we went to Navaria to check out what was going on there. Does it make we found Matriarch Benezia was there, and we dealt with her. So what exciting adventure are we going to go on today? Let's find out. Okay, looks like I had some more problems with my capture card and you're you missed some of the um you missed some of the recordings dang gum it that's okay you gotta work with what you've got you know i think this was the planet that i had to um that i had to like turn the fps down to like 30 just to get it to work okay so pretty much what's going on with this is you see here in this Prothean um, ruin that um, they were watching our ancestors when they were cave people. I do leave the text up. Like I said, I can't read very fast and I can't read I mean I know how to read it's just I can't read very good and So pretty like I said, pretty much they they're watching our ancestors as cave people, and they I think were curious about us and seeing if um, they wanted to make contact with us. You know, m me personally, I think that's about to happen. I I think we're gonna be contacted by other beings. Quite honestly, I could see them having ships orbiting our planet watching us right now. I have heard rumor, too, that um, there is a base up on the moon, on the dark side of the moon, with um, extraterrestrials watching us and studying us as well, which, you know, hey, as long as they're friendly, I really don't care, you know? I just kind of wish they would have, um, you know, been cool about it and said, hey, can we study you for our own scientific research or, you know, I'm sure a lot of people would have cared. But at the same time, too, I kind of get it that they want us to be as natural as possible and you know whereas if they would have revealed themselves and said oh we're um oh well we're studying you people would do things just for them you know they, they wouldn't be natural Okay, here's what I don't understand. Later on in the game, the lesser, the level one hazards, they don't, um, they don't affect you. And I'm wondering if it's because I have combat armor so high.
I know this one. This one's the one where Admiral Hackett calls you and says, Hey, there was a probe we had going around in guest space, and they shot it down, and we need you to go groundside and get its data module so the Geth don't find it. Okay. This is the surveillance drone, but where's the data module? I know exactly where it is. Um, it, there's three monkey colonies. This one's the one that you go to. And you'll see why in a minute. And I don't know why I collected this ore. You know, well, for money, but... I'm so damn rich that I don't need money. You know? <laughs> Okay, so here we go. This is the one you're going to. Nice shot. That was a little extreme, wasn't it? No. That's how you find it. <laughs> See, you get a, a renegade point every time you um, kill one of the monkeys. And I should have just killed them all looking for that stupid module. But because that that's part of the character's psychological profile, but... Yeah, I didn't. What was I waiting? Oh, okay. I I don't know. Made that one. None of these monkeys. It's way down deep in this mine. But that doesn't stop me from looting all the crates and stuff now. No, wrong. Yeah, that one. That one's the one. Not that one. It's not that one. Oh, I thought it was down here. I guess it's not. I guess it's the other door. And I'm supposed to be an expert at this game. <laughs> The data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker should be able to transmit this info to Alliance Command. All right. Now we have our guns drawn. Because now the Geth have realized it's down here. Boom! That's how you do that. Oh. Lift you up. See, this is why I like shotguns. Because they do so much damage. Ooh. Hell yeah, boom, motherfucker.
Which again, I I don't understand why you have to be in the Normandy, or why you have to be in the Mako to go back to the Normandy. I I really don't know why. I think it's stupid. But whatever. Admiral Hackett doesn't even thank you for that. Now we're going to Pharos. All right, cool. Now we're going to see what's going on here at the colony here in Pharos. So, what's going on here in Pharos? We humans found an old, uh, um, Prothean, we don't know if it's like a city or an old city or something, but we end up colonizing on it. You'd think the council would have threw a fit about that, but apparently not. And it's also the home of Exogeny Headquarters. Equalizing interior pressure with exterior atmosphere. Logged. The commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. We saw your ship. Fight Dan wants to speak with you immediately. I've got business of my own to tend to. The Geth wait for no one. They're preparing another attack. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Ooh, the Geth just killed that guy point blank. Assholes. There we go. I keep bumping into my microphone here. There we go. Well, really not the microphone, but the, um, pop filter. Okay. Can we cheese this guy? Did we get him? I hate those fucking sappers. I really do. I fucking hate them. Because they jump around like fucking crazy. Head to the tunnels. Make sure they're secure. But what if I find Geth there? Are you saying you won't go? No, uh, I'll go. I'll go. Okay, don't worry about talking to anyone here, because they all think they're better than you. My headaches are getting better. I just have to stop thinking about the past. The Geth just keep coming. Hello, Offworlder. I'm glad that we are totally forgotten by the rest of the galaxy. Dear, please try to rest. You're, you're not ready to speak. But they should know... Uh... I mean, they are very important. Yes. That's better. Is there anything I can do for you? There we go. Fine. I just need to try to think clearly. It's just a lingering pain from... From the last attack. I'll be fine. I see no major injury, but something must be causing her pain. Please, just let her rest. She just needs rest. I don't know why we get experience for that, but hey, whatever. Ah, 
Commander, I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Bitch. Sorry, Commander. Everyone's on edge since... Watch out! We've got gas in the tower! See, again, they... The heart of the colony. They didn't duck this... Uh, the audio to this game very well. Ducking is where, when you talk, the audio goes down by itself, the game audio goes down by itself. I have mine set up. It's, if I can do it, why can't professionals do it? You know what I'm saying? Right up here is where the drop ship is. Drop and get. That should be all of them. Yep, it is. All right, cool. The Geth will be back. Update by then, but don't take long. We should roll out the vehicle and find where the Geth are bunkered. Okay. Well, we'll do that soon. For the longest time, I didn't know any of this was up here. I don't know why I'm going this way. Cause you gotta have um the quest to do everything. Yeah, why are you going this way, stupid? You have to have the quests. See, I should have cut this out, but I didn't. But, eh, that's alright. Tower secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I just did what I had to. Well, I'm glad you're on our side then. They may have been slowed, but they'll be back. They always come back. Tell me what the Geth want. Why are they attacking you? If you want answers, go ask them yourselves. We don't know what they're after. They came, they attacked us, that's all we know. Their main base is at the Exogeny headquarters. A good place to start looking if you want answers. How do I get there? The Skyway leads directly to Exogeny Headquarters. You can't miss it. Of course, there's an army of Geth between here and there. Every Geth I kill brings me one step closer to Saren. Then maybe I can get this colony operational again. We'll get going then. Good luck, Commander. Okay. Now, if you come here and talk to everyone, you get bonus quests. You're the one who and really, I shouldn't have done them. They'll be back. Because of the psychological Don't kill us. We'll profile. Soon enough. Are you doing anything to remedy the situation? I need to boost rations with Varen meat, but it's too dangerous. 
The Alpha Baron, he's huge and he's mad, rabid maybe, totally uncontrollable. I can't do anything until he's dead. I have to go. So long. Commander, I was told to make my supplies available to you if you wish. Let me see what you have. Of course. I may be able to provide a few interesting items. I should have looked at that assault rifle for, um, well, maybe not because I have Spectre weapons. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. If I find anything while I'm looking around, I'll send it your way. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate it. I'm sorry, but I can't stop to talk. I have to deal with the water shortage. Is there anything I can do? The utilities building was one of the first to fall under Geth control. Find the mains and turn them back on. Until then, this colony is dry. I have to go. I wish you luck. Alright. So I should not have done these because of the psychological profile that I chose, but again, you know, it gets so hard to um, follow that when you're looking for experience because that's what I was doing. Doing these extra quests, I was wanting the experience. And really, you don't have to do this. You can just go straight to Exo Jenny if you wanted to. Okay, get that main on. This valve looks like part of a large system. There are likely others we need to activate as well. Okay, there's the second one. There's only three of them. Doesn't look like it's on yet. We should keep looking. Oh, we will. We turn here. Throw you, kill you, kill you, kill you. Couple Krogans. We destroy that for some experience. In here is the Varen problem. And then this old vehicle has that power cell that that one lady was looking for. Medical, that's what I was looking for for her. Yeah. 
so she can put a kinetic buffer on stupid there you go Frictionless materials. Those are good for assault rifles. They're good for pistols, too. Okay, so we got everything except for the water valves, which we're gonna run by one here in a second. That stupid me didn't realize it's right here next to me. Oh, well, we get on. No, we don't. We get it now. Okay. It's like, oh, yeah, dumbass. There we go. You don't want to go down there. You're not stopping me. Maybe I will stop you. How would you like that? No! Ah! That was a good one. Very intense. You are a little strange. Just invoking the master's whip helps remind me I'm still alive. You're here for the geth, aren't you? You're not the only one interested in those things. Who else is looking for the Geth? Not looking for. Looking to get rid of. They're a thorn in the side of the- ah! I'm trying to get to the- Dying! <laughs> this one is no longer fit. We should leave him. Maybe I should just put him out of his misery. Maybe. I've thought about that several times I'd rather die fighting I could help you if you told me what you're fighting not that kind of fight it's like running through a thorn bush the more you struggle time's up company's coming ask Fidan ask him about the ah! look out So pretty much we run back to the colony. I should have cut this part out too, but whatever. I should have just cut back to when I got back to the colony, but whatever. We did level up. And now that I got all the stuff I need, now I'm working on electronics just to get my overload to do better. Rex, I don't really know what I'm going to do with him. Do I do, like, throw and... Yeah, Shepard has another one to do. There we go. I, again, I don't know why I, ma I maxed out electronics and decryption. I shouldn't have. I should have maxed out damping. That's all right.
So pretty much you come back here and you turn everything in. Commander, what can I do for you? I destroyed a Geth transmitter in the tunnels. It won't be a problem any longer. Thank you, Commander. We're in your debt. You've taken a great weight off my shoulders. I just wish I had such good news for every problem. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck, Commander. See, again, this is why I shouldn't have done this, because I got Paragon points for this. Hello again, Commander. I killed the Big Varen. The rest are yours. Excellent. I'll organize a hunt when the immediate threat of the Geth is gone. Fork over the reward so I can get back to more important things? Of course. I don't want to delay you any more than I already have. Wrong way, stupid. Nice work with those Geth. Glad you showed up. I still need the power cells for this generator, though. I found these power cells in the tunnels. Are they what you're looking for? I knew they'd turn up eventually. Here, Fidan gave me some requisition money. It's all yours. Now if I can kick these power cells into place, I'll have this colony up and running in no time. The water started running not long ago. Thanks to you, I assume. Now we just need to deal with the Geth and we can get back to growing this colony. Here, a few credits for your trouble. Thank you again, Commander. Okay, so now we're ready to go to um, Exogeny. Just like Novaria, we get into the vehicle and it's a linear path. We, there's no branches, there's no nothing. It's just go straight there. I thought it was going to be a nice, peaceful truth. Track. Okay, yeah, it's this one. This one's the one. There we go.
Yeah, I don't know why I decided to do that, but I do, but... Come on! Quit fucking around and let's go! It's why I can't, um, watch a lot of long plays sometimes, because, um, I can't stand it when people fuck around like that, and, you know, I don't like watching it, and that's why I don't like doing it in my videos. I try to cut it out the best I can. We will in a minute. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? I suggest you put that weapon down unless you're ready to use it. Don't worry about him. He only cares about the company. And you trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members of Zoo's Hope are still alive. I thought you said they were all dead. I said they were probably all dead. They live, though the Geth have devastated their colony. We know what that's like. Those damn synthetics are relentless. Just tell me where I can find them. <laughs> you see? They're not here to save us. We should just wait for company support before we... Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. I'm not interested in your company secrets. Commander, before you go, my daughter, Lisbeth, she's missing. They shouldn't waste time poking around. We could do a proper accounting of our casualties after the Geth are gone. That's my daughter you're talking about. She's still alive. I know it. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. For a short time. Stay bunkered down until I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter... And if you talk to this guy, you get an extra quest. I've got a bit of a problem. Everybody wants something. Hurry up about it. Fair enough. I need to retrieve some data. It's not a big job, but it pays well. I'm listening. Good, good. Poking around in the ruins has become a bit too dangerous for me. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that simple. You're awfully quick to trust me with this. Have you seen anyone else heading to Exogeny lately? I'll look around if I get the chance. I appreciate it. That data could be worth a lot of money. Of course, this all depends on getting out of here alive. Time to get moving. Just keep in mind what I said. Yeah, I think, yep, there is. There's one here. There we go. You don't have to go in there, but it's free items, so... Fuck it. Wait. Shut down the comm. We've got incoming gas. Damn it! Shut down the comm! Ah! 
that's what high explosive ammo does. You can use the terrain to uh, kill enemies with splash damage. Uh, excuse me. There's one more. There you go. Okay, so now we're to the walking part. Resistance will be extremely heavy once we are inside. I'm trying to turn around the uh, Mako. There we go. This is what's jamming your, um, your radar. Use warp. That's what warp's for. Yes, I get charm for another store discount. Great. Cool. All right. A one way drop, Commander Shepard. Sorry. I thought you were Geth or one of those Baron. Who are you and what are you doing in here? It's my own fault. Everyone else was running and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. I'll fight my way through the Geth soon enough. It's not the Geth, it's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... I'm here for the Geth. If you know something, tell me. I don't know for certain, but I'm guessing they're here for the Thorian. A Thorian? What is that exactly? It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. I need more information. I need to know why the Geth are after this Thorian. I... I might be able to, but not with those geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. Any suggestions? No, not exactly. But I think the geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the geth laying power cables everywhere. You could follow those cables, but there's geth all over the place. All right. 
I'll look into it. Stay put until the field is down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. Good luck with that field. Damn, Barons. Alright. Now we go into Exo Jenny. On a guest hunt. Stupid machine. Access encrypted files. No, I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! <laughs> Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with- STUPID MACHINE! If there is nothing else, please step aside. There is a queue forming behind you for the use of this console. STUPID MACHINE! Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, Research Assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of Subject Species 37, the Thorian. What did you tell him? I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation post at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorian? Species 37 is located within the substructure of the Zoo's Hope outpost. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon with other flora. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded interesting results. Before sensors went offline, almost 85% of all test subjects were infected. Exogeny knew all along what would happen to those people. It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. That's why they were acting so strange. Your pilot should be warned. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We've got to drop that shield and get back to the outpost. Yeah, no shit. Tell me about the field surrounding the facility. I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. That's how you do that. <laughs> Understanding from a higher power. Boom.
Brogans. We got to take them down. There was a third. All right. And over here's that console. Okay. just destroyed a whole group of cats with just one mine. That was cool. We open this and we'll get some bonus quests for later. Shepard, a containment lab of some kind. It's no armory, but tear up even one claw and that ship is gone. Right. All right. So, again, if you open this one up, you get another bonus quest. Damn it. And it looks like I'm not going to get this one. Nope, I'm not going to get this one. Because I kept fucking around. I could have gotten that one if I would have quit fucking around. There we go. So pretty much how this works, there's some hidden items over here, but how this works is there's a, um, there's a broken, like, shutter and if you give it the right amount of PSI to close, it'll snap an I-beam in half. Well, we're going to use that to our advantage. So, what the goal is, you want to get the PSI to 31 to 34. And you use math. All these buttons have different PSI values. It's everything but um, 17. Well, not everything. It looks like not everything. Barring the exit will be down. Now we can go deal with the Storian creature. This was my kind of mission. Kill a bunch of Geth and end things off with a huge crash. I hope that ship was full of those Geth bastards. I repeat, Normandy to shore party. Are you reading? Anyone there? Normandy to shore party. Come on, Commander. Talk to me. 
Is that you, Joker? What's going on over there? We're in lockdown here, Commander. Something happened to the colonists. They're banging on the hull, trying to claw their way inside the ship. They're freaking out. Keep those colonists away from the Normandy. Gun them down if you have to. Uh, will do, Commander. We'll fire off a few warning shots. That should send them running. We're leaving. But let's rid this place of those damn synthetics before we go. Yeah, protect the ship. Now, I should have cut this out and should have um, cut into um, getting back to Lisbeth. Because all this is is running back to where we're supposed to go and, you know. That's okay. I don't think this place is safe. You said you didn't know about the Thorian. I don't like being lied to. I... I was afraid. I wanted to stop the tests, but they threatened me. Told me I'd be next. When the Geth attacked, I stayed behind to send a message to Colonial Affairs. I tried to tell them where to find the Thorian, but the power cut before I could send the message. I... I never meant for this to happen. Just tell me where I can find the Thorian. No more lies. The Thorian is underneath Zeus Hope, but the entrance is blocked. The colonists covered it with the freighter just before the Geth attacked. What bothers me is why the Geth were after the Thorian in the first place. Well, it does have unique mind control capabilities. That's what Exogeny was interested in. Normandy to shore party, come in. What is it, Joker? We're getting a lot of Geth comm shatter. Looks like they're headed your way. You heard the man. Let's move out. I'm coming with you. I might be able to help. Undo the mess I helped create. Right. Okay, so pretty much we go back through the skyway. And like I said, I should have just cut this out and um, cut back into getting back to where everyone else was. To save a little time, and I just didn't think about it, you know. But future videos of this game, I definitely will do that. See, this is what I hate of this game. I hate how the developers thought, oh, we need to put this fucking shit in the way so, um, so we can make it look realistic. I think we can run back. I'm not sure, but I think we can. Um, I've never done it. I've always come back down here to see what's going on. You can't do this, John. Everyone shut up. Uh, let me think. What's going on? You won't get away with this. Get her out of here! Get away from her, you son of a bitch! Lisbeth! Damn it! Come, come out where I can see you! All of you! Shepard, damn it. I knew it was too much to hope the Geth would kill you. 
I found some interesting facts about you in the Exogeny database. I know what you did on Torfin. There's no reason for this to get bloody. Not this time, Jean. You need to back down and let them go. You, you don't understand. It's not that easy. Communications are back up. Exogeny wants this place purged. This is a human colony, Jong. You can't just repurpose us. It's not just you. There's something here far more valuable than a few colonists. Are you gonna tell them about the Thorian? Or should I? The what? It's a telepathic life form living under Zeus Hope. It's taking control of the colonists there. Exogeny knew all along. You won't get away with this, Jong. So you keep saying, but nobody's gonna miss a few colonists. You're a bean counter, Zhang. I'm a specter. Tell me, how good are those odds? <laughs> specter, it's a load of crap. There aren't any human specters. Right? Is that really a chance you're willing to take, Zhang? Exogeny will send more assayers. They'll know what happened. Tell them the Geth destroyed the Thorian. Yeah, but the infected colonists can't be here when the company men come. You can't just kill the colonists. It's not their fault. If you kill only the Thorian, it might be enough to stop the infection. Maybe. Anything hostile will be eliminated. There has Damn to right. Be a way. Maybe there is. Come and talk to me before you leave, Commander. Just make sure there's no evidence when you're done. Talk to Gavin. Turn that shit in. I managed to find the data and transfer it to your OSD. That's very good news indeed. Thank you. Just give me my credits and I'll be on my way. You bet. Thanks for all your help, Commander. I'm glad you decided to help us. I think there's a way to avoid killing the colonists. You've got one minute. I think you could safely use a nerve agent to neutralize the colonists. Like a gas grenade. I'm not stopping to ask them to breathe deeply. How can it hurt to try? Please, Commander. These are our friends. I'm not doing it. At least take the grenades, so you have the option. My men will keep everyone safe here. If you're going, it should be soon. Okay. Okay, well, we're gonna do like we did on Torfin. Kill all the colonists. Just so we can get the job done. Hoorah! <laughs> and again, I should have cut this out and cut back into when I got back to the colony. At least we don't have to make any pit stops on the way, you know? Okay, motivated buyer. We'll max that out. Okay. Now, in the original version of this game, um, 50 for your first playthrough was the max level, but they fixed that in, um, they fixed that in this version. Quit fucking around, you got your point set up, now. Damn it, quit fucking around. There. Thing was not one of the colonists. 
No amount of infection could have done that. I want a clean sweep. Nothing hostile lives to take a second shot. What about the nerve grenades we acquired? We could potentially incapacitate the colonists. We don't have time to waste on these people. There's a galaxy at stake. Exactly. It's a shame there is no other way. Their actions are not their own. Quit fucking around. Come on. You killed all the enemies here. Thank you. Okay. You have to kill all the enemies to, uh, and deal with all the colonists before you can open the thing up, so... There you go. Alright, we got everything dealt with. So now we're going to see the Thorian. For each colonist you kill, you get renegade points. For each one you save, you get paragon points. Since we killed them all, we got renegade. Alright, we just need to find this creature and determine what it... What it... Kira. What is that? Jesus. Nothing's ever simple, is it?
invaders. Your every step is a transgression. A thousand feelers appraise you as meat, good only to dig or decompose. I speak for the old growth as I did for Saren. You are within and before the Thorian. It commands that you be in awe. You enslaved the colonists. You destroyed their minds. I don't know what Saren wanted with you, but I just want you dead. The Thorian is a piece of this world, extending across the land and back through the ages. You can no more kill it than cut the sky. Your yeah. blood will feed the ground with a new growth! We will see. We want to kill all the creepers just so I can get the experience. Okay, and then I saved here because I was worried about um, the graphics card crashing. If I were smart, I'd have used a grenade there, but whatever. Ugh. Ugh. You don't need to kill all the creepers. I do it because I want the experience. That was nope, that's not the last one. There's one more to do. There we go. No, stupid, you're going the wrong way. Come on. Thank you. I thought there was only one, yeah. Come on! Now, quit fucking around. Get your fucking points in. And you forgot the other two. 
Thank you. There, we'll just throw her off the side. Suppose I should thank you for releasing me. Yeah, I don't trust you. Well, I know this isn't some kind of trick. This is no trick. The Thorian is dead, and I am myself again. My name is Shiala. I serve. I, I served Matriarch Benezia. When she allied herself with Saren, so did I. Benezia foresaw the influence Saren would have. She joined him to guide him down a gentler path. But Saren is compelling. Benezia lost her way. You chose to side with Saren. So did Matriarch Benezia. Benezia underestimated Saren, as I did. We came to believe in his cause and his goals. The strength of his influence is troubling. She tried to manipulate Saren, but in the end, her plan backfired. Asari Matriarchs are among the most intelligent and powerful beings in the galaxy. How could one fall under Saren's control? Saren has a vessel, an enormous warship unlike anything I've ever seen. He calls it Sovereign. It can dominate the minds of his followers. They become indoctrinated to Saren's will. The process is subtle. It can take days, weeks, but in the end, it is absolute. I was a willing slave when Saren brought me to this world. He needed my biotics to communicate with the Thorian to learn its secrets. Saren offered me in trade. I was sacrificed to secure an alliance between Saren and the Thorian. That's what you get for trusting Saren. Yeah, that's true. ...to betray his followers and his allies. Once he had what he needed, he ordered his geth to destroy the Thorian. Saren knows you are searching for the conduit. He knows you are following his steps. He attacked the Thorian so you could not gain the cipher. What's the cipher? And why did Saren need it? The beacon on Eden Prime gave you visions. But the visions are unclear, confusing. They were meant for a Prothean mind. To truly comprehend them, you must think like a Prothean. He must understand their culture, their history, their very existence. The Thorian was here long before the Protheans built this city. It watched and studied them. When they died, it consumed them. They became a part of it. Just give me some plain answers. Where is the Cypher? The Cypher is the very essence of being a Prothean. It cannot be described or explained. It would be like describing color to a creature without eyes. To understand, you must have access to endemic ancestral memory. A viewpoint spanning thousands of Prothean generations. I sense this ancestral memory, the cipher, when I meld it with the Thorian. Our identities merged, our minds intertwined. Such knowledge cannot be taught, it simply exists. You taught Saren, you can teach me. There is a way. I can transfer the knowledge from my mind to yours, as I did with Saren. Try to relax, Commander. Slow, deep breaths. Let go of your physical shell. Reach out to grasp the threads that bind us, one to another. Every action sends ripples across the galaxy. Every idea must touch another mind to live. Each emotion must mark another's spirit. We are all connected. Every living being united in a single glorious existence. Open yourself to the universe, Commander. Embrace eternity.
I have given you the cipher, just as it was given to Saren. The ancestral memories of the Protheans are part of you now. What was that? Commander Shepard, are you all right? All I saw were more weird visions. It still didn't make sense. You have been given a great gift. The experience of an entire people. It will take time for your mind to process this information. You look a little unsteady, Commander. Perhaps you should return to the Normandy. I am sorry if you have suffered, but there was no other way. You needed the cipher. In time, it will help you understand the vision from the beacon. You were allied with Saren. For all I know, you still are. I can't just let you walk away. Your suspicions are understandable. But you freed me from the Thorian and from Saren. I am on your side now. If you allow it, I would like to stay here with the colonists. They have suffered greatly, and I played a role in their suffering. I would like to make amends. You change sides too often. I have no choice. You must die. Exactly. And so be it. If this is the fate you feel I deserve, then I will not resist. You tried to do for us. Saved a few. It's more than most would have done. Anyway, thanks. We'll start again. Just not here. Alright, now we gotta go back to the ship, and I don't understand why they make you walk back to the ship. I, I really don't. I don't get it. Why they can't just say, okay, uh, we did everything we could for Pharos, but we killed all the colonists. Time to head back to the ship, and then they send us back to the ship. Why they couldn't do that, I don't know, but... Whatever. Okay, yep. But then after the mission briefing, then we'll... Um, yeah, after the debriefing, we'll call it a day on this video, so... Of course, we're just trying to get back to the fucking ship, you know? Which, again, they could have just teleported us, but they didn't. Fucking idiots. That's EA and Bioware for you. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Dec Commander, you look pale. Are you suffering any ill effects from the cipher? My brain's been scrambled like an egg. How do you think I feel? I might be able to help you. I am an expert on the Protheans. If I join my consciousness to yours, maybe we can make some sense of it. Do it. Hurry. We don't have much time. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity! <laughs> Incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I never imagined the experience would be so... intense. You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What did you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are... are missing. The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. Looks like we're back where we started. Quite the opposite, Commander. I think my knowledge of the Protheans will prove useful before this is over. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision. What was there, at least. But something was missing. Saren must have the missing information. 
Maybe he found another beacon. If we can find the missing data from your vision, I can... I can... Oh. I am sorry. The joining is exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. I've sent off the Pharos report, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Patch him through, Joker. Set it <laughs> now, Commander. Commander, is this some kind of game? Are you calling in a report just so you can cut us off again? You know it. <laughs> all right well that's gonna be the end of this video so hope y'all had fun and i will see y'all in the next episode <laughs>